Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, this is the third part of my uh, guide to my RCBCH written exams. How to success from your first attempt. Uh, in my previous videos, I have discussed some important points about the exam itself. Uh, what is a FOB exam? What is a TAS exam? And what's the difference between FOB and TAS? And uh, what is the second part of the exam, which is called Applied Knowledge and Directs or AKB? Uh, I have demonstrated several ideas, and uh, today I will continue the most important part of this exam which is the resources and my advice how to set your plan yes i said in the in my last video and the second part about the courses that there is no need usually to take any courses you can depend on yourself and some friends and the study group and you will, you will uh, succeed from your first attempt, inshallah. Uh, in other cases, if you are in short of time or you have no experience uh, and, the, and, the, uh, and the time limitation, you can uh, support your study by some uh, courses. Uh, about the resources of the uh, FOB, uh, which is the foundation of pediatric, I advise the following titles. Uh, as we agree in, uh, in our first video that the MRCBCH is not a textbook study, is not a one textbook study. It is multiple sources and so I denote this by resources and denote the books. Uh, the most important titles or resources for the FOB is Clinical Cases for FOB, which is the official book made by the uh, Royal College illustrated textbook of pediatric uh, 2017 which is the fifth edition there is some updates for this uh, book of tom tom Lizor. Uh, there is some addition important especially in the uh, endocrine chapter and in other chapters will be uh, so valuable for you and the uh, survival guide it is a very nice book and a great book uh, and very concise it can help you as a revision and synopsis but it does it uh, does not contain all what you need it, uh, you can use it as a revision or if you have a shortage of time you can take some important uh, some important topics from uh, from it uh, uh, rapidly uh, it will keep your information organized and summarized and the way that he illustrates the topics is very nice it is a great book if you have time to digest uh, it will be very uh, effective for you nice guidelines or equivalent it is mandatory what type of nice guideline i will illustrate this is by uh, by books uh, this is a clinical cases for uh, by image. This is the clinical cases for MRCBCH Foundation of Pediatric, and this is from the Royal College. This uh, orange book, and this is a guidelines uh, 2020, and this is a illustrated textbook, fifth edition. You can uh, get uh, a good help from the pediatric uh, exam survival guide, which we call it survival guide not by this uh, title also neonatal guidelines but me personally uh, didn't uh, read or study from neonatal guidelines uh, ever i only have some experience in neonates and and uh, these chapters of a neonate in illustrated textbook uh, is very nice this is the main sources uh, also the question bank, either past test or, or exam. Which is better? Really, they are uh, equally, but I tried past test several times, especially before the uh, updated uh, edition now. I'm talking about uh, 2016. 
but now it is uh, better than before. Uh, the sample paper, the official sample paper, I have discussed before that is very, very, very important and uh, you shouldn't miss uh, this opportunity to be fam familiar with the exam system and how the exam looks. And this is very helpful for you, especially before the exam days. Uh, there is, there was a book which is called Essential Revision Note. Essential Revision Note was the, fir the, the, uh, the oldest textbook we have and the, the only book we have before uh, the release of such new books like Clinical Case for FOB or Illustrated. Uh, it is a very condensed book. The way of, uh, of illustration is so bad, in my view. In my view, it has uh, many mistakes, many typing mistakes, and the, uh, the way of illustration is, uh, is not good. Many, it has many repetitions. Uh, and it has some contradictory information in some in sub chapters as it is uh, writ, uh, it is written by different authors for different chapters and so I rarely advise to return to it or to study from it now. Uh, but I found many people uh, that insist that it is imp uh, this is still important, but. Uh, me personally, I, d I don't advise uh, with it anymore, especially after the release of uh, official book from the uh, from the college. Uh, study group is very important, but take care. Uh, it can uh, have a benefit and it can cause you a harm. Uh, study book, choose your study. Uh, your, sorry, study group is very important. Yes, uh, but should be. Uh, no more than seven to eight uh, friends and do not uh, that uh, large group. Large group may, may waste your time and they may dilute your, uh, your plan. Uh, and an important uh, word about the, uh, what's called important exam topics or some people call it recalls. This is some questions that uh, we may memorize after we uh, leave the exam room. And it is dangerous. I always, I always uh, remind my, myself and my colleagues that these recalls are so dangerous. Why it is so dangerous? Uh, the, the memory of us is not perfect. And so we can memorize part of the exam, of the exam question, and an important part or an option for the answer is missing. So uh, when they put the, the, the question uh, in the Arrival College, they have certain parameters that the question will be, will be perfect and will be answered like this. If you have omitted some sentence due to lack of memory, uh, or, or other, uh, or due to other reasons, the the exam format is not typical like the exam. We may benefit only from this recall by uh, by revision of these repeatedly topics that occur. For example, uh, if you have a question like a question about diabetes in CBDs, uh, you don't need to. Uh, to remember the uh, the answer from these questions, as the may, they may put the question in a different manner in your exam. They only uh, need you to think and to uh, to remember the pattern of the exam of the of the question or patterning of the pattern of the of the condition, and do not to memorize the answer. Uh, some people insist. Uh, many times to only remember the answer. There was a child five years old and he had he has a fever and delay and so so and etc. They memorize the option. They will choose the second or the third option. Uh, take care. The arrangement of the answer for you is completely different from 
from your colleague in your in your right or or, or in, in your left the computer uh, to prevent the leak of the answers uh, arrange the uh, number of question differently for different colleagues in a different disk you have the disk number 20 your uh, colleagues number 21 your uh, on the left 22 the arrangement of question the first question in front of me is not the same like my uh, my colleague on my right or, or my left so the arrangement of question is different and the arrangement of answer is also different you may choose a you may choose b your colleague for the same question he may choose uh, d and will be right for him every every uh, template of question uh, according to the computer set or at least the uh, arrangement of the of the question may be different so i return again for this recalls you can benefit from it only to see what is recurrent what is recurrent topic what they need from this what the aspect of the answer what they stress on what they need me to 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 know before you set the exam this is the dangerous the 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 dangerous uh, uh, subject that most uh, most colleagues especially the those who are in hurry to take the exam or take it like uh, like other uh, certificate and this is dangerous for them and some uh, advices come from uh, some friends that they will they will study only the question bank plus the records and the sample paper and you, you will pass. In my view, this is not true. Unfortunately, this is not true. And uh, you, should, you shouldn't miss the first opportunity to pass from the first attempt. Okay. Past exam records. I remind myself with this it is very important yes maybe helpful yes but maybe deceiving it is changed it's changing every time they put the exam they try to change the stem of the question and the requirement or the options for answer it is really recurrent and illegal to be published and so we prevented it from our group to be to be published by any way we only mention what is important in this exam in the last exam. I, I hope this point it, uh, is clear uh, to now. This is about the, I talked about the resources for, for FOB and I mentioned the uh, picture of the resources and lastly the past exam recall. What is applied on, the, on this past exam recall for FOB is applied for all other exams. Uh, so, what's the time required for FOB study? At least, I advise four to six hours per day, uh, four to six days per week with one or two days off, four to five months. Uh, and uh, so there is some individual variations and you may uh, need to finish it in a certain time. This is, this is up to you, but uh, this is my recommendation. Uh, time consumed in a study group is very dangerous. Do, please do not consider this time in a study group as a study. It is only a refreshment or a remind or uh, a just a preparation for your uh, home study. You must do your, your homework alone. Uh, or at least uh, this is my way. You may benefit from, other, from the study group by, by another way. Uh, some people may uh, uh, may benefit from a study group if the study group is a limited number, not exceeding seven or, uh, or at maximum ten person, and make it an interacting uh, with solving questions and uh, sharing the way of study or sharing the uh, the source of study or sharing the important images or pictures or abbreviation or summary this is very important and this is why i had what we have done in our study group before this so the time 
for FOB study is at least four to six months to pass from the first attempt. In my previous video, I mentioned that if you have the uh, past AKB, which is the second part uh, before FOB, you can pass the FOB in just uh, three months at maximum. And uh, as you have already, you have already all the knowledge needed to pass the FOB easily, inshallah. I hope it is clear for now. Time. Now, we will uh, go for uh, resources for tests, and this is, will be so wide, and it may be different from one person to the another. Uh, there is uh, the, the book by the clinical college, by the, by, by the Royal College, which is called Clinical Cases for Tests. Uh, also, the book recently released in 2016, which is called Science of Practice. The old name was Master Book, Master Course. The old book it is completely changed. The old one is obsolete now. It is not needed anymore. The updated name is Science of Practice, and this is the main textbook for the uh, test. And do not for FOB. Take care. It is not helpful for FOB. Uh, or I can say it is minimal for, for FOB. If you need to revise some basic, uh, some basic information behind the uh, symptoms and signs and behind the clinical issue. Uh, it is very important and the uh, type of question it, uh, in it is very similar to the exam. And I advise you before you go for the exam to finish all the question in this book and uh, this answer. It may not be recurrent uh, typically, but it is very important to take account about the nature of the question and how the question will look like. From this book, you can have the most important uh, topics and do not essentially all. There is some chapters in the beginning of the book which is uh, not so required but the major subjects like endocrinology, like neuro, like uh, cardiology is very important. Uh, and it is important now to stress that it is not a pediatric book. It is the science behind the pediatric. What, what does this mean? This means it has the basic science behind that okay. Uh, for example, if we have uh, a condition like diabetes insipidus, so the same. What is behind diabetes insipidus? It will uh, stress on the pathophysiology and how it occurs uh, beginning from the structure of the nephron for the kidney. Until he go to the diabetes insipidus, he will go very rapidly through the symptoms and signs and the investigation and the management. He will not mention uh, clinical aspect in detail, but he will mention the pathophysiology in details. And this is the uh, site for the question for the test, and not the clinical one. The clinical one, as we agreed, is the uh, foundation of pediatric. This is the science of pediatrics, the most important book for test. Uh, the other, Resource is USMLE or Kaplan Step 1, the basic science. So this is an important source and very easy, and the illustrations is very clear, and uh, you can re uh, remember it very easily. It has uh, numerous mnemonics so that you can remember uh, the items very rapidly. Uh, I advise it especially for the for four pharmacology and the statistics. There are lectures from the RCBCH and I advise you to go online and if you have subscription to it, it will be, it will be of great help. It has some uh, summarized lectures. It will be very good for you. The statistics for the MRCBCH is the uh, title. It looks like this, this one is the statistics for the MRCBCH. This is about 30 paper only that summarize, that is very, very concentrated and very helpful. 
for for statistics and uh, before this you must digest and understand what is this, uh, statistics statistics is very important you will you will have in the test exam about at least seven to eight questions uh, if every question have about three mark you will have 20 uh, 21 or 24 24 marks which is so great and uh, and so important to consider and not to miss not to miss even one mark it is very easy if you understand what is statistics uh, i have some other videos uh, explaining why statistics is important and how to study and it may be updated later inshallah uh, I advise you to study statistics firstly from USMLE or any other similar book or Kaplan step one uh, and then go to summarize uh, this by, uh, by this booklet. This booklet is very important but alone if you, if you start with it alone you will not digest statistics and you will hate statistics uh, and this is the way if I, if I advise you this is the book for statistics directly. You will hate me and, and hate the statistics. But the way is, firstly, you should understand uh, smoothly what is statistics and what they need from you in the exam in uh, statistics. And then summarize what you have learned by this booklet. This is the uh, synopsis. That, you, that will enable you to pass the exam. By the way, other books may have some chapters of statistics like science of pediatric, but it is scattered and distributed all over the, uh, the basic science chapters. Uh, but you may have some idea about how the questions looks and uh, what, is that, what is the answers and what, the, uh, what they need from you. Some, other, some topics are present in, in the science of pediatric and not present in this uh, synopsis. So I advise you to read these two books for statistics. It is not so much, it is about all about uh, 50 paper or 50 page uh, at must. And, uh, and finally, go to this final uh, booklet to summarize what you have learned. Uh, there is an old book which is called Basic, Basic Medical Science. Basic Medical Science by Philippa, this one, uh, it is the worst book, worst medical book I have ever seen. Sure, for me at least. I don't prefer it. Uh, it may be due to several factors that the, the print is very small and uh, I can see uh, clearly the arrangement of the, babe, of the pages. Oh, and the the the, uh, the explanation is not clear. I don't prefer it. You may prefer it. It is up to you. But I but for my experience, I don't prefer. Um, this is about statistics. It does return basic science of Philippa. It's, it's obsolete. Question bank, past test, or exam, or or what you uh, or etc. What you need. Uh, it's up to you. But I will remind you by important things. It's very important that uh, it is very important that you realize that the uh, answering of the question bank alone is not enough. It is not enough by any mean. And solving question alone will not uh, let you pass. Uh, the important uh, note about the, ex the recalls I have mentioned before. So this is the main resources for, for part one. Uh, this is the main book, Clinical Cases for Theory and Science, the science of pediatric, pediatric uh, uh, exams. In every chapter of this book, you will have, you will see an introduction of the pathophysiology, very concentrated and very helpful. It was very helpful for me, especially for endocrine and for, uh, for kidney or renal chapter it, is, it was very helpful for me uh usmle step one or kaplan uh, are very good for your preparation the required time for test study 
for at least four to six days per, uh, hours per day, five to six days per week, four to five months uh, is enough. The task is more uh, wide and is more, uh, is more large. Uh, the quantity is uh, too large compared to the FOB exam. It has many chapters and the basic science uh, most of us has uh, for, forgot it, and the, we we need to study to study it uh, clearly from scratch. This, uh, there is some individual variation, and I wish to remind you that you can apply only when you get uh, eighty-five percent in MOOC. What is MOOC? This is a similarity to the exam. Uh, a mock uh, simulation for the exam. A mock is available in some online coaching bank. And you will test yourself by mock. Mock means different topics, for, uh, different exam, uh, uh, exam questions uh, collected randomly, not by system. Uh, I mean, uh, it is not collected as this is a question for cardiovasculars for cardiovascular system, and this is a question for the renal, and this question, no. It is collected randomly, the, the same amount of the exam. You can, uh, you can practice it several times before you get to the exam. If you are 80% uh, in, uh, in several mocks, you can go to the exam. This is my advice. So, uh, what I have mentioned before is the time needed for the test alone or the FOB alone. And now, if you have to go for FOB and uh, test in the same day of the exam, you should increase your time for the study. And so I have advised that this should be six to nine months to pass from the first uh, attempts. Uh, I know some people that have passed in about four to five months, but they have not worked. They are not working. They have... Uh, they have an extra time to, to study. They have no duties, they have no children, they have no. So uh, I advise uh, regularly to be six to nine months. There is some individual variation and they take care from the uh, study group. So if you have FOB, you, you will need about four to five months. If you have, uh, if you will go through, through tests alone, you will need four to five months, both together, six to nine months at least. This is my advice with some individual variation. So I will now shift to the resources for AKB. You may see these lines, it is uh, too wide and uh, it is considered to exam. It has uh, two papers. Uh, and collected together, the marks are collected together and then are not separate. Uh, so if you have in one paper 50, 50 mark, and the, the other one, uh, you, have, uh, you have 100. So in your result in AKB will, will be 150 collectively. Uh, but I actually uh, really don't remember if uh, there is uh, there is essentially, there, there is a necessity to pass in every paper by a minimal mark or not. I should revise my knowledge at this point. Uh, so the resources for AKB is clinical cases for AKB, clinical cases for FOB, the other book, if you, uh, if you started with AKB and not with, uh, with the FOB, and it is very similar, but this, but AKB is more, is, is more wide and more difficult. Survival guide book is very important for AKB. It will summarize what you have learned and a very good source. Illustrated textbook may have, uh, may have not the same uh, potentiality here like uh, the FOB. Uh, there is an important book which is called the new format. I will mention that. Uh, picture. Now, this is the clinical cases for uh, for AKB, and this is the guidelines. This is the new format book. It is very important book. It, it will looks like a tough book, very tough book. 
And the question is hard to solve from the first time if you haven't the essential knowledge, but it's very similar to the type of the exam. Uh, and advise you not to miss this book. Uh, the pediatric guideline is very important, as you, as you mentioned, and the, the pediatric uh, exam survival guide, which is called survival guide. The other book, which is uh, the MRCBCH2 practice exam, and this is uh, MRCBCH part two. Some uh, Arabic colleagues call this book Abu Naddara, and this book called it Abu Bashkir. Uh, it is a common name. Uh, so this book is very important. It is the same series, and uh, there is a small number of questions, but the illustration is very good. And this one contain and a good, a very good illustration about the metabolic alkalosis causes and differential diagnosis. Very important how different how to differentiate such a fibrosis from barter from from whatsoever. Very important. Uh, so. Uh, this is the illustrated textbook. If you have to uh, return to uh, basic uh, your foundation in uh, some topics, this is the statistics uh, booklet, th 30 pages. It's very important. And the type of question here in AKB, the question of, uh, of statistics, is different from that for part one. They will uh, give you a trial or a study, a clinical study, uh, published at Lancet or British Medical Journal, for example, or Archives of Pediatric, or whatsoever, and ask you about, uh, maybe about the design of the, um, of the trial or the study, or may ask you to, um, uh, to say the, is it, the result is significant or not, depending on what's called confidence interval, and uh, this is the most uh, common way of the set of the, uh, of the statistics questions in part two or ATB. Uh, and by the way, I wish to remember you by my technique, uh, which is called down up technique for solving questions. It is very important here in the statistics part. Uh, the, the question of statistics in part two is very long. You may have uh, about one full page with uh, blah, 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 blah. And then you will have five to six lines. Each line have an answer you must choose. And the difference will be very minimal. It may be 0 0.001, like so. And the other question, may, the other answer may have 0 0.01. And you must define the answer very accurately. So in this condition, I advise you to start with the, uh, the required, what they need from you exactly. You, 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 you are not, require, uh, not needed to, to read all this and they will, uh, you will be bored and they will, uh, you will arrive at the required section of the question, you will, uh, you will be diluted and they will lose your concentration. So start by the answer, start by the answer, then pick up what is needed. Uh, from the from the stem of the question. Um, this is a uh, one twenty five book. This is a book which is called one twenty five. One twenty five is a test is a picture book it contains some pictures that will come in the uh, exam data. Uh, it will be helpful, but not essentially to finish it if you have not sufficient time and the, uh, some Google pictures and uh, some friends have uh, collective picture uh, files who may search for it in our group and other group. This is very important. It, you, you will have about three, three to four picture in every paper uh, to give the diagnosis or, or you will uh, reach for the diagnosis and they also uh, they, they, uh, they ask you uh, what is the management or like so. This, this, this book may be uh, important. Uh, I forgot to do this one. Uh, this is a small book toward medical, toward MRCBCH book. This is a very small book and you can uh, finalize 
its study in just a few days. Uh, it is a short book that train you how to pick up the key words. Only this is the benefit of it. How to pick up the key words rapidly and uh, uh, like the spot diagnosis. Very, it's a very nice book. You can uh, you can take it as an as an entertainment. Uh, the most important book in part two, uh, beside the other, is the radiology for the MRCBCH second edition. Take care, there is first edition. Uh, some pages are, are not clear. And this book is very helpful. Uh, you can uh, also uh, increase your uh, knowledge in radiology. The, the, you will be faced by uh, CT and uh, uh, maybe one CT, maybe, uh, but not MRI. I can't remember exactly, but uh, mostly the CT will have hematoma or infarction of the brain like this in the picture. Uh, the books of Dr. Muhammad al Nagar, Dr. Muhammad al Nagar, which is an Egyptian professor, is very helpful. It is basic, but it is very helpful. The, uh, the image in the exam is not complicated. Uh, you will, they will need you the, uh, to know the difference between infarction and, uh, and the hemorrhage and the uh, tumors and the symbol, like this. Uh, finally, the radiology book, is this uh, is mandatory, you cannot leave. Interpretation and the picture book, I have mentioned that this book, and the ECG, you may refer to uh, an important site in the internet, which is called EC ECG Teacher, a very uh, nice uh, website, and uh, you will have the opportunity to train yourself and give you the correct answer. Uh, this is worth to mention that the question bank uh, for the AKB is deficient, either uh, past test or on exam from my point of view, it is uh, so deficient and they cannot compensate for the other. And so the other books, other question books can compensate for this. Uh, important exam topics, which uh, you call, or some people call, call it the recalls, uh, I have mentioned before to, uh, uh, okay, to this point. Uh, what is the time for the AKB study? at least six hours per day, as we agreed before, that the AKB is more extensive and the, and the more wide, and they, they need to know a special subject very well, like endocrinology and the neurology. It's very important uh, exam topics, and uh, maybe repeated uh, from my point of view, the endocrinology, neurology, and the metabolic, Chapters is the most important chapter for AKB. You can uh, pass, uh, you can study for six to nine months before you uh, attempt it to exam. Uh, there is some individual variation, time consumed in study group, take care, and the same advice. Uh, we have uh, mentioned before in our lecture, in our uh, discussion, uh, what is the test exam, what's for exam, what is the difference between them, and what is the requirement for uh, and resources for each of them. Now, the step four, how to make your study plan. And this is a very important subject, and um, I will try to explain it uh, simply as much as I can, and please forgive me if I have some mistakes. Uh, you will have the syllabus uh, downloaded from the uh, RCBCH site. Then classify chapters according to its percent of question in the exam. You will have a printed material called the blueprint, which mentioned how much uh, question in every chapter uh, uh, that encountered in the past few years. And according to this, you can have a trend or impression of what's important and what's less important. Uh, you should digest all, but you will stress on this subject, especially before your, uh, your exam, a few, a few weeks before your exam. 
uh, you will classify chapters according to its percent of question in the exam and you will categorize chapters according to the amount of marks allocated to it in the exam uh, which mean I will have uh, some chapters classified as uh, class A chapters like endocrinology according to its percent of the blueprint suppose uh, the uh, chapters of uh, of uh, much marks are uh, neurology and uh, endocrinology uh, and the metabolic and the AKB. So they are categorized as category A. Category A means I will allocate too much time for this and to a lesser extent uh, for the other chapters. And this is you must not enter the exam. Uh, unless you are perfect at or at least you are confident at these chapters and allocate your time for study uh, for study all in all uh, for these chapters uh, mainly uh, there will be some less important chapters we will classify it as B category B category will be uh, uh, the, uh, the allocated time will for uh, for B category will be of course uh, lesser than the category A, and you will uh, allocate time according to the, the previous matching, as I mentioned before, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, by matching the percent of the question and its a category and what you have. Uh, amount of time to study. Suppose you have uh, 100 days uh, to study all these chapters and you have two class A uh, category chapters. So of course you will have these chapters uh, category A to be about at least 50% of your study and the rest for the other subject and so on you have to calculate it according to the available time uh, uh, after you have set uh, your plan of study uh, or your intended date of the exam. Uh, and uh, I wish to, uh, to mention that you should focus your study and do not to change your plan uh, until extremes you should focus your study as much as you can and repeat your uh, your study several times to retain it for the longest time uh, the amount of information is then is so uh, large enormous amount of information and you cannot retain all uh, all the time till the time of the exam uh, so focus your study and uh, do not change your plan uh, unless there is uh, a very stressful condition or like so. Oh. <coughs> uh, and so I say always before you change your thoughts of a study, ask, or ask yourself what I will miss if not change it. Uh, sometimes you can, uh, you can miss something but the time for it you can you can use it better for another uh, subject uh, i would mention also not to leave statistics ethics and the child safety and the protection it is a very important uh, subject in the exam you have you will have uh, at least seven to eight questions in statistics and the two for for ethics as much as i remember uh, child safety and the protection about five questions are very important all in all you will have about 15 questions for this and uh, it is easy to be to be picked up uh, and the sources of it is uh, different you can uh, get the aid from science or pediatric book you can find the uh, chapter of ethics and the law and uh, child safety and the protection also is good at uh, this uh, uh, but take care. Uh, I don't advise never ever to study ethics and the child safety and the protection from 
the American source of study. It is completely different. The Essex and the law in UK is completely different from that of, uh, of, the, uh, of, of America. Uh, so the books of American Academy of Pediatrics is so helpful for physician and pediatrician, but not for UK uh, people intending to enter the MRCBSH exam. Take care. It is completely different and uh, we have lost so much time in our start, uh, starting uh, stage of a study by diluting our study through these books. Uh, except for USMLE only, it is a basic science, it is not a changeable. How to implement your study plan? Study the, the, the chapter first from a textbook. This is a detailed plan for for every day-to-day -day practice study. Uh, study the chapter firstly from a textbook and or gui guidelines, broad lines and in rapid. And to try to test yourself by memorizing the heading of the subject and not the specific details. Uh, then solve a question. Solve the question, a question bank in a time frame. This is always my my advice uh, always uh, in my uh, in a time frame uh, then review your answer and then take a written extra note if you have an extra note for a special subject or a special topic that is uh, clearly illustrated or clearly explained please take a note for yourself and this is will be uh, your revision notes before the exam days directly before the exam days by your handwritten. Uh, don't waste your time uh, making it screenshot by computer. It will be time consuming and will not, will not be practical and will not be uh, helpful for you. I want you to write it by your, by your hand. I know it is uh, somewhat hard, uh, hard time to do, but it is helpful. It is very helpful for you to memorize it as as if it is a study from scratch. Then to solve the question again, the same questions again in a time frame also. And uh, uh, then revise the rev or review the guidelines. Here I'm talking about a chapter all in all, not a topic. A chapter like uh, the endocrine, for example. You will uh, take the, uh, the, the chapter from a textbook or guideline broadly and then solve the question, then review the answers uh, subject by subject until you finish. Solve the same question again, and then review the guidelines to the broad lines only, the broad lines only. I stress on this point, as some people may take it, may consider this very long. And then to solve the sample paper and the recalls in a time frame, and then move to the next chapter after you finish all the chapters uh, or most of the chapters you can test yourself in a mock exam and as you, as we agreed before mock exam is a collection of questions uh, arranged randomly or not arranged at all so when to apply for the exam i hope uh, this uh, study plan this advice will be clear and i'm ready to answer any uh, other question in the feedback in our group, inshallah, or uh, in future, if there is uh, a common concern or a common uh, questions or common uh, need to explain some point, I am very, I will be ready, inshallah. When to apply? When you only when you are ready, not in hurry, and uh, only when you are trained, you are confident, you expect. What will be in the be uh, when you expect what will be in the exam uh, through the mock question and uh, simulation of the exam and do not to be the first time to face this type of question or at least you are aware what you will have in the exam and this is always my uh, my advice for your first attempt it will be the best chance for success. Uh, how to apply? This is the uh, link for uh, for the application. Uh, step six, and I have a special, uh, somewhat some people consider it helpful for 
the day of the exam. In the day of the exam, this is a fixed day and the date all over the world. All the people intending to enter this uh, exam or this paper will be accumulated at the same time, at the same moment, and they enter the site of the RCBCH to apply. The uh, overcrowding cause the site to be down. It may, be, it may take four to five hours to, uh, to be hogged again. So uh, there is some tips how to overcome this horrible day. It is uh, overcrowded and uh, uh, it seems to be uh, there is uh, so long a time for, uh, for application, but uh, this is not true. The application day, uh, the application seats is completely uh, finished within about, uh, within a few hours, about three to four hours in some centers, it will be finished and will be occupied. So uh, how can you prepare yourself for this, for this day? First advice, I picked it up from the, from the official website, RCBCH. They say that don't, sorry, sorry it is uh, wrongly typed here. Don't log in in, the, in your account a few days before the application hours, before the application day. What you mean? Before the application day, you should uh, clean your browser and it is preferably to use a PC, not a mobile or tablet, uh, to to uh, to prevent these cookies, which is uh, special files that is uh, uh, stored in your computer. It is uh, not advised uh, to log in your account a few days before the application day. Uh, number two, keep on the screen trying every minute. Uh, with your payment card on the other hand. Uh, and it is uh, advisable to write it uh, in a notepad uh, that is already opened in the, in the computer uh, waiting for the, for the moment. Uh, be on the site 30 minutes before the application hours by UK, by UK times, not by your local time. Try to find a strong internet or be the only one using this line. Do not waste your time calling or mailing the college. They know everything. They know that there will be, there will be overcrowding and the site may go down for hours. And uh, if you waste your time uh, calling them or, uh, or informing them, they do everything. And your uh, recurrent emails will increase the uh, the traffic or overcrowding of this side of their side uh, and this will hinder the, the process so concentrate on what is going on and refresh and uh, try to uh, to save some time for for this day try to prepare yourself and set your plan that you will have uh, three to four hours at least trying to uh, to apply and if you are lucky, you will, you will pick it up rapidly. Uh, but this is not normal for all the people. Try to use a PC rather than a laptop or a mobile. It is better. This is my advice. And this is working for several people. Try to get wired internet rather than wireless. Strong connection is one of the most important factors to succeed in this battle. Confirmation of booking will be immediately delivered to your email. Uh, if not confirmed, <clears throat> uh, if not confirmed, uh, after payment, contact both your bank uh, and the RCBCH immediately, and don't be late. And this is what this was my mistake before I did it, and I think it is over. I booked and I discovered that it is not complete, and I missed this date in 2015. I hope, I hope I didn't remember, I didn't uh, miss any uh, subject and I will collect any other feedback uh, again in another video and I'm sorry for this long video. Uh, I wish to finish the most important part of my video, of my uh, advice for you. Uh, so what if 
you didn't pass. Please remember this one. This is normal for most, for most, sorry for this, for most uh, colleagues not to pass from the first side. This is normal for some people. Uh, please forget about the result for about one week and don't study at, uh, uh, at this uh, time. Restart again your motivation by writing it down. Why I need to study after this trial? It is worse or not. Analyze the result sheet uh, you will receive. You will receive after a few days uh, the result uh, with a graph illustrating uh, where you are uh, compared to others, uh, compared to other uh, candidate. You will receive it in your account. Please analyze it and don't uh, give it to trash. Uh, know your strength and weak chapters. Change your plan of study quantitatively and uh, qualitatively accordingly. Please consider this point. If, uh, if nothing is changed, you will have the same result. You must change your way or your study, your uh, time or your way of study or way book uh, whatsoever or uh, uh, the source you are studying from. Take your time before you apply. Apply uh, for the next diet. From my experience, the main reason for not passing is incomplete preparation before the first trial. If possible, change your group study is very important. Large study are not so helpful. Please note that a way that colleague, that your colleague have passed to success may not absolutely suit your way of study. Uh, please consider, consider this point and what has worked for uh, for other people may not work for you. Allocate more time in your last review uh, for high mark chapters as statistics, safety, ethics, and the law. Uh, and remember that remarking is not help, is not helpful. And no one I have encountered that he has any benefit from remarking. It is a, uh, a dangerous and useless hope. Uh, marking occur by computer, not by person. And so remarking uh, will not add anything. Uh, you can contact me for support and feedback. And uh, I wish to thank you and all uh, people that have sent me uh, their feedback. Uh, I am here to support you and I wish you best of luck. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.